What's up guys? This addition to your prayer life will change everything. All right? Change everything. Pastor David, man, welcome to my channel. My heart is that you draw closer with Jesus. My heart is that you have a faith walk that is amazing. I've been pastoring for over 10 years now. I'm so stoked that you're checking out this video. Um, I love to make content like this. So like and subscribe, but let's jump into this game changing thing. All right. It's called faith hunting. That's just what I like to call it. Faith hunting. And what you do is in your prayers, in your quiet time, in these moments, keep a journal of what you're praying for. All right. And be believing God. First, what you do is you find in the word of God, a promise of God. All right. And then you stand on that promise. All right. We are not treating God like a vending machine or like a slot machine in a casino. All right. First and foremost, the most important thing is our relationship and our heart and self with God. At the end, I'll link a video to that or put a way uh, for you to check out my video on prayer and how that how your heart set heart set needs to be. I'll put that up. So check that video out. But after you watch that, then you might want to pick up on this one. We are not looking at God as just a winning lottery ticket, but instead having an active relationship with him where we stand on his word and his promises and see them carried out. So find his word. Find a promise that he gives and then stand on it and walk it out. So if you're a single guy and you're believing for a spouse, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. That's in the word of God. And you know God wants good for you. So unless he's told you that he wants you to be celibate, then he wants you to have a wife and stand on that word. So right then and say, I'm believing for a wife. I'm believing for that good thing, that wife, and then be actively looking. But don't be desperately pursuing every female that walks down the street, but be looking for who God's bringing your way. Also prepare yourself for it. You know, take a shower, brush your teeth, get yourself ready to talk to a girl, okay? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right, write down the promise. If it's something financial, sow a seed, be generous. Look at what the Bible has to say about how your finances should operate. Align your life to the word of God and then stand on the promise. That if God says that he's your provider, that he will provide and be actively pursuing the provision that you know you're going to be receiving. Be expectant of God. If you need money, be looking for work. If you need finance or breakthrough, be looking how you can sow a seed to help your local church. Help a missionary. Being generous on that level to where you can see that money doesn't have control over you. Write all of these prayer requests down and date them and put the scripture by them in a prayer hunting journal. All of the best fishermen and hunters I know, they know what they're going after. They know the season. They know the bait. They know how to track it. They know where it's moving. Why are we not the same with our faith? All right, we need to know where God's moving, what he's doing, what season we're in, how we need to pre prepare for it, and how we're actively engaging in the will of God with our faith, with our prayers. Do you see why I call this faith hunting now? And now when you go out there and you have this journal and you see this journal of what you believe in God for, and as he starts answering these prayers, all right, in his timing, you can see like, wow, this is active and this is real and my God is real and his word is trustworthy and his character is good. And you get excited. You get excited. Once again, I just want to warn you. I want to say this is not God being um, a heavenly genie in the sky. You might have to give more money than you've ever given. You might have to forgive on a level you've never forgave before. You might have to love on a level you've never loved before. You might have to serve on a level you've never served before. But find it in the word of God. Write it down. Get God and you so close that it's almost, he's almost like in the room with you. Because you are so intentional about his word. You are so intentional about his blessing. Because you are so intentional about his will and his ways. That's faith hunting. It's one of my favorite things to do. Love it. I've been doing it for over a decade. I could I could bore you all day with stories. Uh, I'll, I'll do a quick one. There was one time when my son was on the way. He wasn't quite born yet. Uh, Nancy was pregnant. And three different times that we were, as we were praying for finances and praying for breakthrough, we were tithing. We were doing everything we showed with our generosity. Three different times, someone gave me $500. One time, the lady came out from a gas pump, from behind the gas pump that was across from me, and said, God told me to give you this. And it was $500, not even in my hometown. 
Like, trust me, God is not a genie. There was obedience on our end, all right? But I, I drove home just in awe of the goodness of God, and I fulfilled his word. And, you know, that now that was 12 years ago. So it's just, I can't tell you enough. Be patient, just like in hunting and in fishing. Trust God's process and watch how you experience the goodness of God and land the living. So that's it for me, guys. Listen, I want to help you with your faith walk. Look, I wrote a book. It's called I'm Not Fat, I'm Husky. It's all about prayer. I'll drop a link below to my website where you can get it totally for free. You can get it totally for free. That's what I want for you. I want you to draw closer to God. I want you to get this book totally for free and read it. Press in. There's a little segment in this book about faith hunting. So check it out. It'll bless your life. Get that journal. Start on it today. Do not wait to grow in your relationship with God. So get that book. Uh, I love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.